Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. In this video, we will see the solution for science journal for standard 8, experiment number 14. The aim is to prepare a simple electroscope and to understand its functions. The apparatus and materials are empty jam bottle, a piece of cardboard, paper clip, two strips of 4 cm into 1 cm aluminium foils, refill, polythene, plastic ruler, balloon and woolen cloth and you need to draw the same figure on the right hand side where the space is given and the method to prepare is take an empty jam bottle, take a piece of cardboard slightly bigger in size than the mouth of the bottle, pierce a hole in it so that metal clip can be inserted, cut two strips of aluminium foil Hang them on the paper clip as shown in the figure. Insert the paper clip in the cardboard lid so that it is perpendicular to it. Thus, electroscope is ready. Test different charged and uncharged bodies by touching the paper clip. Now, the explanation of the function of the electroscope is charge a refill and touch it with the end of the paper clip. Observe. Now, Touch other charged bodies with the end of the paper clip and observe. The observation is, this device can be used to test whether a body is carrying charge or not. And the conclusion is, an electroscope can be used to test whether a body is charged or not. Now test your knowledge. Question number 1 is MCQs. An used ball pen refill is rubbed hard with the polythene. Which of the following statements is incorrect? It's option number D. Same types of the charge is acquired by refill and polythene. Second, what does happen when charged glass rod brought near the plastic straw rubbed with polythene? It's option B. Attraction. Third, which of the following natural phenomena cannot be predicted? It's option number D. Earthquake. Now, question number two that is true or false. First one. A charged balloon is attracted by another charged balloon. It is false. Second, an electroscope is a device that produces electric charge. It is false. Third, it is not advisable to use an umbrella during lightning and thunderstorm. It is true. Fourth, when a plastic comb is rubbed with dry hair, it acquires charge. But hair does not acquire charge. It is false. And here we come to the end of experiment number 14. I hope you have understood the complete experiment. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. I will surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.